Hey yo, salute to all my subscribers. Special shout out to everybody else passing through. YouTube, what's good? Salute to the people. It's the social forecast. Hey y'all, I want to uh, remind y'all of something real quick. I talk about this privately a lot. The whole Cardi B offset thing. As soon as the whole shit went down with the cheating and the announcement of the divorce, everybody jumped on social media and started talking about it. That's cool. That's just the day and time that we live in. And then when Offset pulled the stunt at Cardi's show, got on stage, did the whole apology thing, public apology thing, everybody jumped on social media and started talking about it. Now, here's the funny part, and I tell people all the time, when you're dealing with relationships, like real relationships, especially a marriage situation, <laughs> y'all be premature to talk about shit when it be over. And I tell people all the time, relationships don't end that way relationships especially serious relationships there are usually multiple breakups and reconciliations before that situation actually fully ends even if in the public eye we think it ended a lot of times behind the scenes it's still going through that process it's like a it's a process and the reason why i'm bringing this up and the reason why i didn't jump on my uh channel and talk about the situation before is because i knew that more than likely the situation wasn't all the way over. So why I say that? A few hours ago, or late, early this morning, late last night, however you want to put it, um, I came across a news story um, where Cardi B and Offset was spotted together, out together uh, in pictures, and the article was basically talking about the possibility of them maybe being back together, reconciling, and... We don't know what that's what's going to come of that yet. But the point is, and this is the only reason I'm talking about it now. Y'all can't be so quick to talk about relationships when they end and the situation surrounding why they ended and jump on a side and pick a side. It's one thing for us to do it as spectators and commentators, but for the people close to those individuals, you almost always run the risk of looking crazy because those two people more than likely are going to get back together, even if briefly. And then all of that shit that was that was said and all of the sides that was that were chosen, that's just gonna expose those people. Now you look crazy to those two individuals who are now back together. So I just stopped due to say that. Um, be interesting to see exactly what's gonna come of Cardi being offset offset. But when you're married it's a whole different thing. And I and I, you know, I speak on that from experience. And I'm, and you know, a lot of the people who I've spoken to about it feel the same way. I knew that it wasn't over when the whole situation happened. Um, and you know, you, when it comes to that's why when, when close friends of mine um, have relationship disputes and spats, I'm real careful. Even if it's one person I'm friends with, one person I'm loyal to, I'm real careful about choosing sides because you know, nine times out of ten, it, 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 it's at least a half a dozen breakups and reconciliations before a relationship actually ends for real because it don't work like that in real life anyway just stop through to give y'all that update let me know what y'all think about it like comment subscribe i don't pretend to know everything i just know what i know see y'all in the next one peace and love